Girl, one thing I know is gray hair is not for the weak. I have seen so many people do videos about this topic and I'm gonna chime in on my take on this because I think I might have a little different point of view on that, but I agree, gray hair is not for the weak. This is some tough stuff right now. So let's get into it. And hey, by the way, welcome to my curls. So as y'all know, I'm a little over a year into my gray hair transition. And I, let's just look at this. I have got a ton of hair happening. It is starting to, to peek out everywhere. I did a whole video the other day about the back of my hair and I was so shocked at how much gray hair I exposed by going to get a, a little bit different of a haircut. It is something. So what I wanna talk about is gray hair is not for the weak. And here's why I say that. Some funny things are happening that I didn't expect. So you all know that I have two daughters. We all have dark curly hair. So throughout the years, well, my husband does the laundry y'all, so it's great, we won't bring it up. But throughout the years, Randy would always find hairs in his clothes. Like he'd be doing the laundry and folding clothes and pull out big hairs that were in his socks or entwined in his shirt. And this was always the biggest deal in our house. And I would always blame it on Brecken and Kendall because their hair was so much longer than my hair that I would just, you know, it's the girl's hair. Well, now that I have gray hair, and Randy pulls out one of these big hairs from the shirt he has on, the hairs are gray. It's been me all along. Like, I can't hide it. It has been me with the gray hair. Y'all, I'm finding gray hair everywhere. Now, I've always lost a lot of hair. I'm constantly shedding hair, but I swear I never saw it. But now that it's gray, I find gray hair everywhere. Like I can walk over to my couch right now and find gray hair on the couch. It is in the drawers. It is in the clothes. I can see it laying on the floors in our house. It's on the couch. It's on me. Like there's gray hair everywhere. And I can't blame it on anybody else. It is, it is all mine. And since we have two dogs now, we have one white dog and we have Pollux who's white and sort of orange. We, we got white hair, we got gray hair all over the place. So the boys and I are kind of fitting in and the two girls are off the hook because we know it's not their hair. This is weird, but I'm gonna tell you all. And I wanna know if this, if, if, if this is happening to you all. It might be my age, but I swear it's happening because I stopped coloring my hair. But I'm getting ooh, one, one, white eyebrow one white eyebrow and it, i pulled it out the other day so you can't see it but it grows out of this eyebrow right here one and it grows straight out like this little horn thing one white eyebrow now how cruel is that like why why do i have to have one white eyebrow <laughs> Do you all get the white eyebrow? Comment below, let me know, like why? And during this gray hair transition, this grow out process, look at this, y'all, of all of this gray hair, I'm realizing that there are gonna be some really, really unfortunate photographs of me. And when we adopted Pollux a couple weeks ago, I gave my phone to Brecken and she was recording some of this stuff because I wanted to be in, in the videos. And when I got home and was editing those videos and I saw my hair from angles that I never see my hair, it's not good. Like it, it is unfortunate. It is bad. There are going to be bad photos of me with my gray hair. So take a look at this because this is this is the video that really did me in. Just 
look at my hair. It's when, when it's up in a ponytail, all of this white stuff is happening on the side. The bottom is growing in black. I don't have any gray hair back there. So when you see me from the side and I have my hair in a ponytail, I look ridiculous. And when my hair is in a ponytail, my whole head is white. And then my ponytail is the old colored hair. It is dark. And I have had several people actually ask me if that was one of those like clip-in fake hair ponytail things because there is such a drastic difference in my head and my ponytail that people actually think I clipped that ponytail in there. Like, why? Why would I do that? But that is what people think. Total strangers have asked me that question. So again, it's unfortunate. Gray hair is not for the weak, but power it on, gonna get through it. And I've done several videos about how to look good when you're transitioning. All this gray hair, like how you should dress, colors that you should wear, and I've recorded two videos lately that I ended up wearing hey a there, red blouse and a royal blue so blouse. And I do, I have them, they're in my closet, but they're not colors that I normally choose to put on. When I go stand in my closet, I'm not drawn to royal blue and red, but I realized that when I put them on, I look really good in primary colors. They're just not my favorite colors to wear. So I'm finding that I sometimes need to wear a blouse or a color that I just don't really want to, but I need to because it looks good on me. So like today I have on navy blue and red and I love this little striped shirt. It makes me happy, but for some reason a solid red, a bright red blouse it's just not something I go to grab when I go in my closet, but I know that it looks really good on me with my gray hair, so I'm just kind of making myself wear some of my not favorite colors. And another reason gray hair is not for the weak, this is kind of tough to explain, but I'll try my best. In the winter, I don't have a tan. In the winter, I get a very long break from our ice cream shop. So I spend a lot of time at home. And when I'm home, I'm in my pajama pants. I'm either cleaning house or I'm working on my computer or I'm just doing stuff that I don't necessarily want to take a shower, wash my hair, put on makeup, put on jewelry. But I realize that on the days that I am just comfortable and at home, when I look in myself in the mirror, I don't look so great. Like the gray hair makes me look just kind of but like you know when I when I'm when I'm just home and I'm in my comfies and I spend my entire day that way after I've looked in after I've looked at myself in the mirror so many times looking like that I just start to feel not so great about myself. And so I'm learning that I feel so much better about myself if I fix my hair, even if that fixing of my hair is in a ponytail or pulled back in a barrette or with a headband on and I just put on some little earrings. They can be stud earrings, but as long as I have something on, I can be home in my sweats, I can have on a t-shirt, but I just feel so much better about myself if I take a moment to do something with my hair and just put on a smidge of makeup and a little bit of jewelry. It just makes me feel better. So I guess the point, what I'm trying to say is, I have to be very careful not to let myself go during this going gray process. Because letting myself go, even if it's only for two or three days at home, makes me feel not so great. I need to do the things, even if they're just little things, that make me feel good about myself. And one of those is like, you know, painting my nails. Y'all know I love to have my nails painted and I do it myself. I did a whole video about how to gel paint your nails at home. You can, I'll put it right up there if you wanna see it. But for the past couple weeks, I have not had my nails painted. So every time I would look down at my hands, I think, I wish I had my nails painted because it really makes me feel good about myself. It just makes me feel 
so much more put together when my nails are done. So the other day, it was 8 o'clock at night. I said, yeah, I want to paint my nails. So I got out my stuff and I painted my nails. And I, this is called Brick Knit is this little, it's a shellac color called Brick Knit. But I just... Just that little pop of color on my hands makes me feel clean and put together and just better about myself. So it's, it's just the little things that I realize that I need to do every day and along the way just so that I don't start to feel like just like the gray hair is taking me over. If I'm put together, the gray hair just sort of like blends in as part of me, but if I let it if I don't take care of myself, the gray hair takes me over. I hope that makes sense. It's really, it's hard to put into words, but, but you all, I hope you all know what I mean. This is the best correlation that I have for that. You know how when you paint a room in your house and you have to take everything out of that room, it's a completely bare room, and then you paint the walls, and you stand back and you're like, mmm, that is probably not the right shade of whatever color you chose. So you stand there and you second guess it. Maybe it should have been a shade lighter or it should have been a shade darker. You know, you've just, you've, you've done the wrong thing. But you are not going to repaint that room. So you bring in all your furniture and you hang your pictures on the walls and you put your curtains up and you've got your, all your decorations. And then you look at it again and you go, you know what? It's totally fine. Like, why did I even think that? The room is fine. It looks great. And so that's sort of how I feel about myself when I don't take care of myself. When I'm home, I feel frumpy. If I'm in my sweats and I don't have on makeup and I didn't do my hair and I didn't brush my teeth till one o'clock, I feel like that room that is naked and newly painted and in the wrong color. But if I just take a moment every morning to get myself dressed, to just put on, even if it is just a dab of blush and some lip gloss and some earrings, and just put 20 seconds into my hair, I feel so much better about myself. And then I can accept the gray hair. It does not take me over. It does not consume me. Gray hair is not for the weak, especially I think that applies to me because I have a YouTube channel. You all would not believe the rude and ugly comments that people have left on my channel telling me how horrible I look with gray hair, how horrible my hair looks just in general, that I should not let my hair grow great, like on and on and on. And my channel is not a place for negativity. It is shocking to me that a woman would choose to spend her time watching my videos and then leave such horrible, hateful comments. If you don't have something nice to say, then don't say anything at all. Stop with the negativity. The way I choose to deal with it, I read it, pisses me off for a second, I laugh about it, and then I block you. It's that simple. I'm realizing that I need to be strong, I need to be strong-willed, and I need to do the things consistently that make me feel good about myself. You gotta have the willpower to get through. You, you j There's just some times when you gotta power through. As my daughter says, we're on the struggle bus. and. Right now, I am on the struggle bus. I do not think that this is my best stage of gray hair. I'm on the struggle bus, y'all, but I'm dealing with it. So let me know from you all. Are you on the struggle bus with me? Like, seriously, things are getting tough and gray hair is not for the weak. But I feel like on my channel, we can all talk about it. We can support each other. We'll just be on the struggle bus together and we'll eventually get to where we're going and we will all look and feel fantastic. I hope you're enjoying my channel and the content that I'm putting out. I would love for you to subscribe to Welcome to My Curls and to give the video a thumbs up if you like it because YouTube 
loves the thumbs up. That's how they know that you like the content I'm putting out and they will promote my channel to new possible viewers. So it's greatly appreciated if you would do that for me. I've got some stuff I gotta do this afternoon, guys, and got a new dog that I gotta go take care of. He is asleep in the dining room and he's being super quiet. So I'm gonna go check on him and see what he's up to. So I'll see you later.